of all Thank time. You. I still remember the song. Like at the end, I would break out into it, but I don't think it's okay. <laughs> But I loved it, and I love your work. So, Thank yeah, you. I'm Thank such you. a huge fan and respect it. Okay, cool. I'm a little nervous. I'm like, oh my God, Robert Johnson. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let me know. Okay. It's your girl, Attorney Misty Oaks with Sensation Station Network, Radio 2 TV. And I am here with the legendary Robert Townsend, director, actor, writer, just awesome. And I'm a little nervous right now, so you all have to forgive me. But how, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on your show. Good. How was your trip to Atlanta? Uh, it was uh, uneventful. I just you know, flew in from L.A., so it was like you know, really nice. And so I'm just glad to be here. We're glad you got here before the rain started, so you're here safe and sound. So how did you get involved with the uh, Atlanta Pitch Summit? Uh, Ty called me, um, I guess who put this all together, and she was like, you know, she knew about my other pitch classes that I've done before, and you know, I love to inspire and encourage whenever I can, and so to be here, you know, you know, to see all these young artists and talented artists that are looking for that break, whatever I can do to help, that's why I'm here. Oh, that's so awesome. So let me ask you, how did you first get started in the entertainment industry? Um, I started when I was really young. You know, I started when I was 14 uh, in theater in Chicago. And uh, I did my first movie when I was 16, Cooley High. And, uh, you know, so it, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I've always... I'm old enough to remember that, so don't let the young face fall. <laughs> I mean, I've always had a passion for, you know, the arts and performing and creating. And I've been doing it since I was little. And then uh, from Chicago, studied at Second City. And, you know, I've I just been doing it and I still continue to do it and love it. Awesome. I was going to ask you, do you still love it just as much as you used to when you first started? I probably love it even more, you know, because once you, you know, know how blessed you are to make movies and television shows. Um, I just finished a new film called In the Hive. It'll come out next year. It stars uh, Loretta Devine, Michael Clark Duncan, Vivica Fox, and all these young actors that the world has never heard from, you know, and they're going to hear from. And I'm really proud of the movie. So every time I get to say action and cut, I just feel blessed. That's so awesome. So what inspires you? to do what you do? What inspires you to continue with your craft and hone your skill and get better every every year? You know, uh, I think it's it's uh, the need, the desire, the to help people. I know that images are important and I know when people see themselves on the screen, you know, it's like, like somebody came up to me one time when I was um, out and about and they were talking about the five heartbeats and it was a guy who said, he hadn't talked to his brother in 10 years and he said when he saw the stuff in the five heartbeats and JT and Duck get back together, it made him reach out to his brother. And so I know that movies and stuff can affect people, so that's what kind of motivates me. It's beautiful. So let me ask you, because I've been dying to ask you this, what do you think about the state of television and film today? About its imagery, its message? What do you think about it? Well, I mean, I think there's some really good content out there, and then there's some really, you know, not so good content. And I just think that that's why events like this are really important to encourage a whole nother generation of, you know, artists to emerge and live their dreams because we really need more voices. And so uh, the thing to me is that you got to encourage people to go for it. And that's what it's all about. There's a whole slew of people in Atlanta with ideas, just itching to get them on the air. And so we thank you for being here to show them how to do that, because a lot of them have no clue. So um, so what do you most look forward to with the Atlanta Pitch Summit? Uh, I, I look forward to hearing the pitches and seeing what people, you know, hopefully hearing some great stuff and encouraging people to, to really go after it. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you ever... Uh, mix things up like do you hear a pitch and say I love the characters and I love the idea but I hate the setting I hate the backdrop I hate this and let's change it up and maybe we'll see what we can do well I, I, I try to be as um, honest as possible with a pitch you know I mean I don't want to discourage anybody but I kind of you know give them a sense of you know this works in the story but a lot of times what I do in my class is that I utilize the audience and the people that are there to really um, be a sounding board. So it's not just about me. I have the whole room listen to the pitch and they say, hey, this is how it could be better. So it's not really just Robert alone. Right. So 
it's constructive criticism, right? Okay, great, perfect. Well, I'm so glad you're here, and it's so nice meeting you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the Atlanta Pitch Summit and seeing what happens, what dreams may come. <laughs> All Thank right. Thank you very much for having me on the show, and, and continued success with the show. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.